and I got a Facebook message in early August from a friend that said that the rescue was going out of business and that she was starving and blind and needed to be put to sleep and here's the phone number. She was Poupe, a former polo horse that Heather Perkins took care of in high school. She was a polo pony that I learned to play on actually so that's why she's extra special to me. Poupe and Heather parted ways 10 years ago. She ended up at a horse rescue because she had a stroke. When Heather got the Facebook message, she decided to see what was going on with Poupe at a horse rescue facility in Winchester, California. I went out, I saw her, she was in a small pen with really hard dirt as the ground, no bedding, no shade, it was over 100 degrees. She was very, very thin. Her skin was messed up, her tail was a dreadlock. Her mouth was so severely neglected she could barely chew, which was part of the reason I think she was so thin. I got back in my car and I called Chris and Bo and made sure it was cool that I brought her here and I went back the next day and got her. Poupe is now at the Tribuco Canyon home of Michael and Chris Carp. It's my passion. I love taking care of horses and she needed my help and it just feels good. It's the right thing to do. Poupe's skin rashes are healing, her mouth has been fixed, and she's getting a special diet. Senior feed, she gets rice bran, she gets alfalfa pellets, alfalfa hay, and carrots. Poupe will never play polo again, but Heather plans to keep her for now. She's really a pet. Mark Eads reporting for OCRegister.com.